Hey everybody, I'm Seth. And I'm Miranda. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be showing you guys some of our favorite colored vinyl. This yep. will be part one in a, in a little series. So we love collecting vinyl. It doesn't matter what color it is. Um, but we thought it would be really cool to show you guys some of our favorites uh, from our colored vinyl just because they're super cool. So. All right, so we will get started. So the first one I have is Helmet's Mean Time album. It's actually from 1992, but this is the 2017 reissue. And I love this album. It's a really cool album. Um, these guys are credited for being a huge influence kind of on alternative metal um, and alternative rock sort of in the early 90s. And this one came on a really cool red and blue split vinyl which i thought was awesome um there are a few different versions out there of this one um, on black vinyl but i believe this is the only one that's on colored vinyl so i thought it was really neat it is neat all right and so the first pick i picked is the stray cats 40 album so this album was kind of a historic album for them not only did it signify the band's 40th anniversary as a band, it was also their first album in 26 years. And this one is pressed on this gorgeous uh, clear and purple, pink, and blue splatter. And it Super has cool. their signature cat head logo on the center labels there. The next one I have is Stevie Ray Vaughan Live at Carnegie Hall. This is a super cool album. It, this was a record store day um, exclusive back maybe like three or four years ago. Yeah. Um, really excellent album if you've never heard it. Um, it might be out there on like Spotify and stuff like that, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's a sure tough one to find. Um, and this comes on a really cool, it's like a. It's like a tobacco smoke uh, vinyl. It's hard to see the, uh, the actual color of it uh, with the glare there, but I think you guys could probably see it. Um, really neat. I don't think I, we have any other thing this color in our collection. But no, I've never seen anything else that's quite that color. This was actually recorded on Stevie's birthday. Um, I'm not sure how old he was at that time, but... Uh, really cool live set from Carnegie Hall. So if you ever get a chance to listen to that, um, and it's on super cool vinyl, so check that out. All right, and so for the next um, pick I picked, I picked the Raconteur's new album, Help Us Stranger. Um, this album came out last year, and it was their first album as a band for, I think, 10 years? Something around there, about 10 years, yeah. Um, and so this is actually the Vault Edition. So the cover is lenticular. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And then it is pressed on this gorgeous bright green, black, and copper swirl. Photos don't, don't do this justice. It's got this really cool, the copper is kind of like a metallic copper. So it really kind of shines um, above the other colors. It's really neat. My next pick is Typo Negative's Bloody Kisses album. And this was from 1993. And this is a recent reissue from Run Out Grooves. If, I'm sorry, Run Out Groove. If you've never heard of them, it's a really cool uh, company doing limited pressings of stuff that's kind of out of print. So they mm. do kind of a monthly vote or every so often they do a vote to see what actually gets pressed. And then they'll press it up. I think they've been doing some more additional runs of different things and i think this was part of one of those where it wasn't one of the monthly vote ones but um they've been putting out some really cool stuff so make sure you they check that been. out their uh, their packaging and their vinyl is always top notch super top notch um and keeping with our green theme from the last one uh this one is on green and black sort of a swirl but it's opaque um uh, you, so you can't see through it but a really neat pressing of this one. Um, I've been a fan of this band for a long time and always wanted to own their stuff on vinyl and never did. So this is actually the only one I have of, of this band on vinyl, but I love it. It's really cool. And so for my next pick, I picked a Day to Remember's album, What Separates Me From You. 
This is their album from 2010. And it's pressed on this beautiful white, gray, yeah. and blue starburst. Super cool. That's what the other side looks like. So my next pick is from Crowbot's new album that came out in 2019 called Mother Brain. Really neat artwork as well. Um, these guys are a super cool rock band. They are a three piece. I'm not, I can't remember where they're from, but I love this band. I've been listening to them for probably about four or five years. Um, and they pressed Mother Brain on this really cool purple and white swirl vinyl. It's got a couple of different purples and white mixed in. Um, super neat. These guys always do it up right on all their albums. They, mm -hmm. uh, they always do a bunch of different color variants on uh, their stuff and um, just really neat because, you know, it makes you want to kind of hunt down, um, you know, what's out there for the colored vinyl because they're really doing doing something cool with it. They are. Yeah. And for my next pick, I picked Morris Day and the Times album Ice Cream Castle. Um, these guys are fantastic, like funky rock band from the 80s um they were heavily um associated with prince so if you're familiar with prince's music you'll probably be familiar with um the time they were also in the movie purple rain with prince so if you've seen that then you've seen them and this is one of the coolest it is cool. pressings we have it is pressed on neapolitan colored vinyl it's amazing you know the the album itself is called ice cream castle so it's super perfect that they would do the neapolitan vinyl and my last pick for today but also my current favorite is primus's latest uh studio album the desaturating seven um which came out in 2017 so it's been a couple of years they put this out on rainbow splatter vinyl and it's just amazing. It's beautiful. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Um, like I said, it's my current favorite. I just think that this particular one came out really cool. And uh, along with the theme of the album, there's all these different uh, goblins that are all of the colors of the rainbow. So they, they're all kind of represented in the vinyl. I always love it when an artist kind of ties in the art concept with the color of the vinyl. Bon mm -hmm. Bonus points for that. Right. And uh, it's really cool, too, because sometimes some of the stuff that's, you know, like supposed to be more of a rainbow color, it gets kind of muddy. Yeah. But somehow they did a really good job at, like, making the colors separate so you truly got all of the colors. Yeah, I agree. My last pick and my current favorite is the Cramps album, Stay Sick. And this album is from 1989. If you guys aren't familiar with the Cramps, they were this really unique, um, psychobilly, punk kind of band um, from the 80s. Just really kind of raw yeah. stuff. And this album is pressed on this orange and white splatter. I don't know how well you guys can see the white in the camera, but it looks almost like a creamsicle kind of. Hmm. Really cool. That's some of our favorite colored vinyl. Um, this is part one, so we plan to do another part at a later date, but we just wanted to show you some of the cool vinyl from our collection. If you guys are liking our videos, be sure to um, hit the thumbs up button, um, subscribe to our channel, uh, ding the bell so that you get the notifications uh, <laughs> when we release new videos. And yep. just have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks.